So the Crisis Center was founded in 1978, so we're coming up on our 40th anniversary. There are a lot of ways that people interface with us and a lot of ways that women get connected to us and men. We could be working with someone who needs to go to court for a restraining order because they're in immediate danger. We could be working with a client who needs some help with a parenting plan because they've been separated from their abuser um, for maybe months or even years. And now there's a new question about um, custody or parental rights. We get in touch with folks who have been sexually assaulted who are at the hospital. Um, and so, you know, they're, they're really in a tremendous amount of trauma and chaos and they don't know what's happening. Um, and sometimes um, folks reach out to us because they just need ongoing support. They've been separated from their abuser um, and they really just need the support of other women to stay strong. Um, women who come in for shelter generally are fleeing some kind of violence whether it's immediate violence or their abuser has found them after they've relocated um, or they just need a different way to keep their kids safe. Our shelter is home. It's home for a lot of women every year. Um, this isn't just a place where they go to be safe. This is a place where they go to be safe and really restart their lives. We've been hearing about Building on Hope for some time. Um, our former executive director. It was one of the first things, pieces of paper that she handed to me. I actually think I still have it, but it just kept coming up. So one of our local pastors, when the new announcement came up, sent it to me on Facebook. And another community business person called me and said, hey, Building on Hope is um, looking for a new project partner. You deserve this. And so when I looked at the RFP, um, I didn't have a choice uh, because this place deserves it.